What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. The Soaring 6 Minute Series continues, and this time we're hitting the traps. It's a six minute sequence that you're gonna do. Again, simple in terms of how we structure it, but the effort is gonna be something that you're probably not accustomed to. And that's great, because this is what we're gonna use, the overload, the uncomfortability here, to demand a change and to demand that soreness the next day. Now, how are we gonna do it? We're gonna go to the old classic. We're doing a barbell shrug, and we're gonna load it up to not your max weight here, guys, because when you see what we have to do, you're going to understand that the volume is going to sort of impact that ability to use that. But you're going to go to a heavy weight. For me here, it's uh, 245, okay? So again, not, we're not breaking records, but it's something that I'm going to have to sustain for a long period of time. I'm going to start the clock, and I'm going to let it run for six minutes. So it's just a running clock for six minutes, and I'm going to start with the barbell shrug. And what I want to do is be able to do 10 shrugs and then hold for 10 seconds and then nine shrugs and hold for nine seconds, and eight shrugs and hold for eight seconds. Realizing that even if your traps give out, your grip, or don't give out, your grip is probably going to. So at some point, you're likely going to stop. And when you do, you're gonna work on another exercise I'll show you in a second. But when we do this shrug, here's one key thing I want you to focus on. You load the bar up, you shrug up here, and then when you come down, allow your shoulders to protract. Allow them to come down at that angle, okay? So when they're here, they're up, and then allow them to protract. Why are we doing that? Because the traps insert here on the lateral portion of the clavicle in the acromion. So when this part moves forward, we're getting a greater stretch on the trap. So if we can let that protraction occur, we're not talking about doing rolling of the shoulders. We're talking about just allowing them to protract. Then when I come back up, I'm not just lifting, but I'm retracting at the same time. The key is we're getting more of that eccentric overload and tension with every rep up and then eccentrically overload down. That's what's going to help us to create that damage leading to soreness later on. Now I mentioned if I had to stop at some point. Well, if I do, then I come over here and I grab a plate. For me, I'm using 25 pounds. The 25 pounds are doing an overhead trap raise. So we basically hold the plate here like this and then basically hands down, thumbs pointing down, and I'm going to then go thumbs pointing up at the top, okay? And down under control here and then up. What you want to do is squeeze your traps to do the raise. So I'm squeezing my mid back to raise the plate up and then come down. This is actually working the lower traps, okay? The upper traps are being worked this way up on the shrug. The lower traps are being worked here to stabilize the scapula as we lift up overhead. You do 10 reps of the overhead raise go back in here and resume wherever you left off. So if I did 10 and I held for 10 in the contracted position, nine held for nine, eight held for eight, couldn't get the seven, I go over here, knock out 10, come back in here, seven reps, hold for seven. Now, I'm gonna play it all out for you as I did it, and which has already left me out of breath, as you can see, and I'll show you exactly how we execute it uh, and, and how it looks in real time. Here you go.
So there you have it, guys. There is your Sora six-minute trap workout, trap sequence, really. And it, people are already asking, where do I fit these in? I like to think of them as plateau busters. If you're sort of someone that can't get a muscle to respond, and you don't feel like you're getting any response from that muscle because you never get sore in it, these are guaranteed to induce that soreness. Is this the only way you can do soreness and induce soreness? No. Is it, does soreness equate all the time to new growth? No. But because we're overloading and because we're putting the science back in what we do when we do this exercise and get that eccentric stretch, we are adding the elements to growth. But at the same time, these are intense. You don't want to start mixing multiple soreness six minutes together. You're going to be biting off more than you can chew. Okay? So make sure, again, you're using this to sort of spark and get yourself out of that rut instead of using them as your workout all the time. All right? Guys, if you're looking for a program that lays out exactly what to do step by step, day by day, head to athletics.com and get our Athletics training program. We manipulate the volumes, we, we, we issue you the workouts as we know you can handle them, and not just sort of throw it all out there at random. All right, th those are over at athletics.com. In the meantime, I know you like the Soren Six Minute series. Continue to let me know what other things you'd like to see, and I'll do my best to cover them in these future videos. All right, guys, see you soon.